Evening yo, Trader Dad here. This video is going to be on volume, trading volume. So if you are on trading view and you've got, you know, indicators available to you, depending what package you're on, you'll have um, different uh, indicators available to you. I use a few indicators. None of them are for trading direction or trading confirmations. The only indicator I use for any kind of confluence in a trade is volume because it's not a lagging indicator. Volume will close as the candles close, right? So as this candle up here closes, when this volume down here closes, that is the volume of buying or selling in that one candle right you can see the volume here you can add indicators onto your chart it's very easy all you have to do is go up to the indicators at the top here i've got favorited ones if you click on indicators type volume bol and you see the top one right it doesn't really matter um, and this is going to print the volume a few things to be aware of though when you're looking at volume as you can see, I'm on the USD Yen chart at the minute, and you can see that the data feed is on FXCM, right? Now, I'm going to keep the volume up at the bottom. I could go on to USD JPY, and you can see all the data feeds for USD JPY. I choose FXCM because it's just what I use because it's closest to my broker, right? So use whatever data feed is closest to your broker. Right, a lot of people prefer Oanda. Some people might use other stuff. A lot of people trade futures, but I use FXCM. But the volume on Oanda will slightly differ. You know, the volumes they will be largely the same ish, but they won't be identical. Right, so just be aware that the volume on Oanda is going off all the traders on Oanda. And likewise, if I'm on USD JPY for FXCM, then it's the volume traded on FXCM. Okay, so we're just going to keep this, you know, focused below 10 minutes on volume, right? So you can get an insight, maybe you get some breakthroughs, maybe it helps you out, maybe it doesn't. But this is my interpretation of volume for absorption and volume divergence, what has helped me out in my journey in trading. Take from it. As, as you wish, right? So I took a, um, a short last week on the yen and I'd noticed that on the one hour time frame when market opened here, market opened and price trades above Friday high. As per usual guys, my yellow box that you can see, all that is is the weekend. It's just an indicator I use that denotes the weekend, right? So I can clearly see that that's the weekend, that's Friday, this is Monday, and so forth, right? That's all that is, right? Again, anyone watching this channel, if you're new to it, if it's the first time watching it, I really am dedicating the, these videos to, to be short and to the point to really help out anyone starting out trading, you know? Even if you've been trading for a while, you're still going to benefit from some of this content right and it is going to get more advanced as we go through this is going to be volume part one i will do a more advanced version of this and i'll do a volume part two the same with my mitigation videos and imbalance videos and structure i'll do part twos on those as well but you'll notice that as price has traded up here we have a higher high i'm just going to get rid of that for now so that's just my own markup. All right, so we've got price trading higher, above Friday high. But if you do look down at the bottom, the buy volume is not supporting that movement. Why would price be pushing up here at 0, 0700 just before London Open to take out Friday high when the buying volume is less? To me, I interpret that as volume divergence and then it sells off, okay? Likewise, when we come to the chart, 
and we see this buy volume here pushing up at 12 o'clock midday why is price pushing up here failing to trade up and through this up candle and at the same time the volume is teeny teeny tiny no buy volume followed by a massive sell volume okay this is volume divergence. There is another way of helping you out with direction using volume, and that's looking at volume absorption. So now we're looking at the bottom of this range. Let me just zoom that in a little bit so you can see the full structure. Now at the bottom of USDJPY, right, and you know, say for example, you shorted up in here, um, you know, not that this video is on mitigation, but just to point it out, that's a mitigation cell. Yeah, we've got the sideways action. We get the, the push up with less volume. We get the breaker structure and we get the return to the mitigation and continuation. All right, mitigation. But we're talking about volume. I'm not talking about mitigation. Don't want to get sidetracked. Otherwise, it'll go longer than 10 minutes. But anyway, volume, um, price is trading down. And then we get price coming lower, lower, lower. But hang on a minute. The sell volume is decreasing. Why is the sell volume less, but we're still coming lower? There's a lot of sell volume in here. It's more than the previous sell volume. But it's not going lower right that is also volume divergence but it's also absorption you've got this large amount of sell volume but it's not going lower it's come to, it's a bearish candle yeah but it's failing to trade any lower and then we get a bullish engulfing candle straight after it price does not trade below this low right so that's another good example now a classic example of volume absorption is let's see if we can find one back here ignore that that's just a previous trade ignore that is I don't want to flick around different charts I want to stick on USD JPY because it makes it easier does make it easier. We see the same here the week before actually. I'd not noticed this and just just till then. But midweek reversals, I've talked I've talked about that a lot. You get Wednesday pushing them up above Tuesday high. But look at that buy volume there. There's nothing there. No buy volume. And then you get a nice sell off. Unfortunately, for this situation, it doesn't come back to this mitigation. It doesn't come back to there. Because that would have been a mitigation setup to go short. Same pattern. Okay. Now let's look on the bottom side here. Because this is a mitigation pattern as also. And I'm not supposed to be talking about mitigation, naughty. I'm supposed to be talking about volume. But I can't help myself. And I love it. So, sell volume is coming down and down. But it's less sell volume. Price is coming lower. Then we get the breaker structure by opportunity. tell you where I saw it gold gold was a good example I'm sure it was gold if I look on gold yes it was in here and it was on the 15 minute time frame because it was with manipulation this is another example of absorption right gold last week 
was pushing higher right but not only does it push higher here you get less buy volume but also this volume here look at that big buy volume so let's say for example you'd not notice the, the volume divergence this example is for absorption you get this large volume coming in here but the candle that's printing that is here now that candle pushes up and closes all the way back down here even though it's got the most volume for that day because this is the daily open this is the daily close the most buy volume in that whole day is there but yet the candle comes up and closes that's absorption it's because all the buying is being absorbed by sellers on the other side of the market that's absorption so that's all i'm going to cover today that's volume divergence and volume absorption you can use that in conjunction when looking at structure looking at imbalances and looking for your mitigation and that's all I'm going to cover for today. So I hope you got some value from it. Please share, like and subscribe as I usually say. And um, there's going to be some more content to follow.